In this tutorial, I'm going to talk about slope, intercept, and graphing linear equations. The standard equation looks like this, where y is equal to mx plus b, m is the slope, and b is the y-intercept. Equations of this type are plotted on the standard x, y coordinate system. y is equal to 1 half times x plus 3 is just an example equation and I could use any example but I'll use this equation. When x is 0 we can calculate the y-intercept. Here x is 4, there it's 2, and here it's 0. In fact anywhere along the y-axis on the red line there x is equal to 0. So now I have y is equal to 1 half times 0 plus 3. Anything times 0 is 0. So now I have y is equal to 3. So now I count up 3. 1, 2, 3. And I'm going to plot the x and y. In this case, x is 0, y is 3. And that point is 0, 3. We always read left to right. And again, this is x and y. The gray point is the y-intercept, which is also b, and 3 is the y-intercept. The slope is often referred to as the rise over the run. So in this case, we have 1 over 2. It goes up 1 and over 2. So I go up 1 and over 2, 1, 2. And that's my second point. Now since I have two points, I can make a line. I can draw a line between these two points. There I go. Not done yet though. This point is 2, or x is 2. And y is equal to 4. And it's common to put it into a little table like this one. So I have 2 and 4. I'm going to put 2 in the equation, so now I replace the x with a 2. I'm going to put 4 in the equation as well, so I'm going to put 4 over there instead of that y. Now I have 4 is equal to 1 plus 3 which is equal to 4 is equal to 4. Any point on this line is a solution to the equation we're talking about here. What happens when y is 0? You're probably wondering that. Probably not, but here we go. So I count over to that point, so when y is equal to 0, and it turns out, if you count all these points, it's negative 6. So when y is 0, x is negative 6. This point is the x-intercept, and this other point is the y-intercept. Any point on the line is a solution to the equation, and that should do it. And I hope you've enjoyed this short lecture.